May profits be upon you. We're going to take a look at US dollar yen. We just finished uh, CAD yen. Check out that video. I'll leave it on your screen at the end of this video. But uh, we're going to take a, US, a, a look at US dollar yen. Uh, I like the, this pairing because it is the strongest against the weakest. This is that simple, all right? Uh, yen is trending in the wrong direction. It's actually trending weaker. Uh, you can see two weeks ago, it was at minus 9.33 9 on the RT money meter, which tracks uh, currencies rate of change over a 15 week period every three, uh, you know, about three months. And every week I try to uh, update, right? This week, you can see the yen got weaker. It's still the bottom of the bottom, all right? The very bottom, all right? And US dollars at the very top, all right? And it is trending in the other direction. Uh, it is actually seen to be getting uh, a little stronger, especially with the, uh, the, the weak, the way it ended last week, all right, with the news, the NFP and the other news and uh, what the Fed is talking about as far as raising the rates and all, it's all, it's, it, it seems to be pretty good. Now, if we look at the US dollar yen uh, market, if we look at the pair, we can see that it has been very, very bullish, all right? Now, I like, I like the way this setup is, but, uh, I tell you, man, it's hard. It's very hard to to look at this and not think it's bearish. Uh, or th there's a bearish setup that could happen. There's a bearish setup that could happen. Why? Because what, what do I normally look for? I look for price to go higher, right? Push down for a low, make a higher high, and then break the low that is responsible for that high, all right? That is a break of market structure. And what happens after a break of market structure? I look for price to return to impulse. And that'll be somewhere around here, all right? Uh, in this leg of structure. And we can take a high probability trade to the downside, all right? What do we see over here, all right? High, push down for the low, higher high. Price dilly dallies a little bit, a higher low, aha, aha, and then we take this high. Look at that. We take that high. All right. And what does price do? Break the low that are responsible for the highest high. Return to impulse. All right. Return to. Uh, uh, a, a bearish order block or, or you know supply in this in this zone somewhere and continue down. That's what happened. All right. But look, prices returned higher. This could have been seen as inducement along with this. Returning to the origin. That's where we're going. Return to origin, the originating impulse, impulsive uh, order block, right? This is supply, man. And here we are at that POI. So, you know, I would be looking for, normally, I would be looking for a bearish setup because this looks like prime real estate for it, right? However, look at the daily. Look at the daily. Man, this is a rocket, all right? Yeah, we showed, showed uh, uh, I mean, you know, you can see it's been very impulsive to the, uh, or bullishly impulsive, so. And, 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 and we see a correction. This is a correction. That's what this is. A higher low, if you will. Price could very well continue to break. All right, now, uh, on the higher time frame, this, this is a, an extended market. But on the four hour, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something here. It looks like what it is. It looks like a correction and a new impulse has begun, all right? Impulse, correction, impulse, and this could take out these highs and I suspect, I suspect that it will, all right? What I want you to do, what I want you to do is mark your POIs. You have permission by way of structure to take, to look for longs, why, why? because we are breaking supply. We are breaking supply. 
All right, when you when price is breaking supply zones, you know, it, it, it ain't doing it for its health. It's saying demand is in control. So now I look for the demand to hold, all right? I'm looking for demand to hold. I'm looking for that demand to be tested. This is a zone that I would like to see price return to so I can take a, a long, no problem if it doesn't, no problem if it doesn't, because I see some buy to sell wicks here, all right? And on lower time frames, that are, they are zones of supply and demand, all right? Again, see that arrow there? That is imbalance. That's an imbalance leading into the peak, the high of this head and shoulders or, or, or quasi, if you will, all right, pattern that led to this uh, bearish, uh, uh, this bearish uh, structure here, this leg of structure, all right? So as price is returning here, I'm looking for any reason whatsoever. If price starts to pull back, I'm looking for price to find its footing and possibly continue higher. I'm gonna be looking for a bullish price action at this zone, okay? That's what I'm looking for, all right? Is there a short to take up here? Sure. If you take, if you look on the lower time frames on the 15 minute and the five, you'll see you, if price sets up and does its thing, a high, a lower high, a higher high, a break of that lower high and a return to impulse and then down on the lower time frames, I will take this short down to this POI. Do you understand? All right, I will take the sell to buy. Got it? That's the plan. All right, that's what I got. That's what I have in my head right now. I'm looking for that sell to buy because this is bullish to me. And uh, US dollar is much stronger than the yen. Yen is weak. So it's going to pull higher because of the US dollar strength against it. And uh, if, it, if there's any pullback, if there's any pullback, I'm looking for, looking at it as an excuse to get in long. All right. But why not take the short? to the long. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button for me, all right, if you appreciate what I'm putting out. And uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can get all the bell icon so you can get all the uh, uh, updates, all right? And me, do leave a comment. Tell me if you like what I'm doing or not. You know, Tell me if you think you have a, you know, a, a better view of uh, US dollar yen. All right. I, I'm leaving a video on the screen right now. The, the prior, I think it was, uh, what was it? Uh, Aussie yen. I'm leaving that on your screen right now. Click on that and you can see the forecast I have for it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.